Hello, I'm Detective Dustin Christner with the Alton Police Department. Uh, I was asked to introduce myself and talk a little bit about uh, what we can do to make our communities better. Um, one of the main things I think is treating people the way you want to be treated. Um, the golden rule, and if I teach that with kids, whether they're elementary, middle school, by the age I'm talking with. So, treating people the way you want to be treated and living with honesty and integrity are the, the main things. Uh, and uh, helping people out. Uh, if you see a need in your community or need in your neighborhood or need in your family, trying to help address those needs. I work with the schools during the school year, so I teach classes on drugs and alcohol and internet safety and interacting with the police department. How many of you saw canine demos at your schools within the last couple of years when they brought the, dog, the new dogs in? Remember seeing them? You remember seeing it? We are the hope of America, the children of creation. Some call us entrepreneurs. We are inventors with information. Businessmen. gun that I carry. What's that? What's this? This is handcuffs. These are hinge, what they call hinge handcuffs. So they don't have a chain on them. See how they're different than other handcuffs? Yeah. Only when I, only when people do bad things and break the law. Oh, my my job, like I said, is is to talk to, to oh, kids. What's one thing? So they're extra bullets for my gun. <laughs> how do I get those off of people? I have a key, a handcuff key. I'll show you my handcuff key. Okay. You want to see it? Take it off here and you can pass it around. Can I go first? You would go. That's what a handcuff key looks like. <coughs> oh. Cool. Awesome. Don't pass it back. So, <laughs> back to me. Pass it no. back to me. You want to pass it back to who hasn't had it yet? You haven't had it yet? Okay, there you go. So what we'll be able to show you this morning is, is, is the, the tracking. Um, you know, that's something that had to be done outside. Um, but boy, he does, he, he smells the ground where the person's walking. He can go find them. Uh, we use them a lot for that. Uh, again, the article searches, finding things out in the field. What we'll show you this morning, I've got these four chairs set up. Uh, our police department has around 57 or 58 officers. Um, we have a chief of police, uh, Chief Jason Simmons. Uh, we have an administrative division. We have a traffic division in our police department. We also have an investigations division and the patrol division. The patrol division is the, what we like to refer to as the backbone of our department. They, they investigate all the crimes right when they happen and then the investigations division follows up on that. Uh, we have a tactical team, um, which is ILEAS. So we have several guys from our police department that are part of the ILEAS tactical team. Uh, we have two canine officers, Officer Brian Brenner and Officer Mike Morelli. Um, they've both been officers for quite a while in the department. Uh, and then uh, our support services consist of our, our PIO, which is uh, Officer Emily Hina. Like I said, our traffic division has uh, Officer Daniel Ludwig and Sergeant Mark Dorsey in it.
So, can you tell us a little bit, a little bit about yourself you and your business? Yes, well, number one, uh, about myself. My name is Walt Washington. I'm a uh, uh, member of the Brown State Temple Church of God in Christ here in Alton. And uh, my, my, I have a wife and three children. And we are, uh, we've been married now for 47 years. And uh, I served uh, 23 years on the Alton Police Department. That was my final career for the Alton Police Department, but I continue my charter bus business uh, on after that. So um, I, I'm a veteran from the Vietnam War. I served for a year in the Vietnam War as a combat veteran, combat medic. And I, um, I was injured in the Vietnam War. But thankfully, I survived it, and just thank God to be a survivor of the war. Thank you. Yeah. My last question is, is there any message that you like to give the community or have it be a better community? Yes, and uh, number one would be do good yourself. Number one, do good yourself. And number two, as you move forward, don't try to push anyone down. Always lift someone up and bring them along with you. I was taught as a child to never look down on a person, regardless of his or her circumstances, unless you're reaching down to pick them up. Nobody is better than anyone else. We're all Americans. We're all American people. And American lives matter. All lives matter. Not just black lives. All lives matter. And I would do what I can to encourage the community to stick together, work together, and uh, treat everybody equal. Don't push anyone down. You're no better than anyone else. There's some You may have had a better break, or you may have worked harder, but everybody needs a chance and an opportunity to move forward. So just help someone along the way. Thank you. Okay. So here I am, <clears throat> Ivy, Marketing and Production, here with Mr. Washington. Mr. Washington and um, trying to make a better community as it is. Thank you.